I think it's time for a little story. It's definitely story time. Saturday story time. My name is Flo Janssen and this is episode number three. In today's episode I'd like to look at this week in 2020 but also six years ago back in 2014 when I made the huge step to immigrate from the Netherlands, my country of birth, to uh, Finland. Finland of course because of Nightwish I decided to try and learn the language um, which is really really difficult and um, yeah, um, fell in love with the country so uh, I made the step, I was going to live there and uh, signed a rental contract, uh, but that went on tour with Refound for a long time and uh, during the tour I was going to arrange for everything, but it's really difficult while touring, six weeks states, uh, three weeks South America, it was really, really intense. Um, so I was very fortunate my sister was helping me with a lot of practical stuff. Uh, at the same time I also met Hannes, whom I married and immigrated with to Sweden one year after. So yes, five years ago, the next immigration in this very week, coincidentally, happened where um, yeah, we went from Finland to Sweden. So um, it's a much calmer week, I can tell you that. It's been a lot of horseback riding, uh, not only home, but I also took some training outside uh, uh, of our little bubble here at home um, in a wonderful stable. Uh, near Alingsås in uh, Sweden, where I also had a lesson and uh, rode a very experienced horse who could teach me a lot of things. And um, yeah, it just was an ex inspiring uh, experience where I could ride and um, uh, get feedback, where I could feel the things I can do with a horse that is better trained than my horses because I'm still training them uh, to remind me how it feels and to, well, get inspired to try and teach them. Uh, what I've learned or what I knew that I could do, but well, it was a good reminder, a really nice experience that inspired me not only in horseback riding, but also how to, yeah, take care of everything around the stables, paddocks, they, everything looks so beautiful there. music. Um, the stuff that's been happening basically in the first two episodes is an ongoing process. Home life, gardening, growing my veggies, riding the horses, hanging with my family uh, and of course music writing. So if you haven't checked out the first two episodes I hereby invite you to do so. And if you did, uh, in the second episode, uh, it's a bit of an Easter egg, there is an animal that uh, comes by that is not ours. Could that be? Six years ago, immigration was going to happen, a uh, flight was going to take off on the 1st of July. My sister was very, very pregnant with her first and of course I wanted to meet her child. I wanted to be there when, when well, she was born. Uh, so we were at grass, well, Hannes and I. Uh, I was there as a guest with Sabaton and uh, as we were relaxing in the sun, at least I was, um, a phone call came. Your sister just went into labor. <gasps> yes, it's happening, baby. Oh, I'm gonna meet the child before I immigrate. That's great. But um, now what? What am I supposed to do? Do I need to go there immediately? Or uh, no idea. It was so funny to realize that there. I instantly had no idea. Well, obviously, I just need to wait and hope everything goes well. And um, as the day rolled by and the show even happened. We got back onto the nightliner and took off from grass pop and then the news came. A baby girl was born, all healthy and well. And um, yeah, that meant I could meet her, Rose, who's now six. Um, 
yeah, for the first time, right before jumping into that plane. And I can tell you that's an emotional roller coaster because you're going to leave your family and friends behind and start something new. Uh, as excited as I was, it's still a major step. It's a thing um, that takes you out of your comfort zone entirely. Yet again, I do believe that those kind of steps are vital to take every now and then because you grow so much as a person. So here comes another question to you though. What have you been doing in the last five to six years that really took you out of your comfort zone and made you rethink everything? Well, as from basic off or just rethink life uh, a little bit because, well, it's an interesting uh, talk, really is. I'm going to have a special guest also with me later on today and um, uh, she'll also be uh, joining me on Floor Finds. That's another new, new YouTube feature that I've been starting where I interview other people uh, with one question that we both answer and talk about. So that's going to be there. Floor Finds with Marco uh, Hietala is already online. And uh, Elise is coming as well. They're working on a brand new album. So I'm sure we're going to be talking about that. Hmm. There, mates. That's so nice. I'm uh, working on the last romantic part of owning horses. Oh, getting great help though. Yeah, you like riding the four wheeler? Yeah. <laughs> it's got ticks everywhere. We try to keep them at bay with all kinds of stuff, but it still comes. Tips are welcome. But yes, I'm sure all the. Uh, Beautiful pictures, of, the idealistic pictures of rock stars went down the toilet. But hey, if you do have horses, they poop every day. Right? Right. I'm not getting any help of you, is it? No, you just took my spot. Well, reality check. But funny enough, when I'm out here, and they are there, and sometimes they follow me. And the cat thinks it's just nice to follow. I get really good ideas. And I've uh, been picking some flowers. Took my raincoat with me because oh, you never know. That's life. All right, Fenrit. Ready to ride? Yeah, you're gonna sit with me. Let's see what happens next. beginning of July in 2020. What has happened this week? Uh, yes, that's a very good question. What happened? I actually had a photo shoot. Oh! Yes, with Patrick Oleus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably also right here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that was it. And then I've been doing some work for the companies. Um, because people are now going on vacation. Mm -hmm. They actually did work yeah. still in the office because there are only two people or three, I think. Okay. So I'm going to do that and taking a walk. I have a friend from Germany visiting in yes. Gothenburg. So we've been out having dinner. Actually, we've been quite uh, uh, busy. Yeah. yeah, nice. And anything uh, with Amaran that maybe happened to this time? Uh, well, yes, it was the photo shoot, only with four band members though. Okay. Because uh, it's a little, little bit complicated still to travel, as yeah. people know, uh, especially from Denmark and Finland, where they live. Right. It's a little bit top far. And then uh, we are getting into TikTok. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, also band related. Uh, and we have released a our first single on the new album. Right! Yes! Cool. That's three days ago now. Nice! <gasps> a song called Viral and it's the first uh, yeah, release on uh, for us uh, on the upcoming album called Manifest. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. And when is the album coming? In October 2nd. No, that's too long to wait. 
Yes, it's usually <laughs> like that. But in time, time can go so fast. Um, in this episode, I've been talking about my week also in 2020, mm-hmm. but thinking a lot about what happened for me six years ago. So I was wondering, how was your 2014 around this time? I remember now very clear. It was probably the first summer where I felt that the band had grow, grown. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was like the one of the the first really good summer with uh, a lot of really nice shows uh, because we uh, made a fest summer fest summer outside out <laughs> outdoor we call it outdoor outdoor summer tour okay so it was not really a festival but we opened up for a band called Sabaton Sabaton? Sabaton, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's it's actually small really fun yeah. yeah it is <laughs> and so so funny because I loved that summer that summer was just amazing we went to all these small super cute cities all over Sweden including Blackwater like, Valley and uh, places uh, everywhere and it it was a very great stage already for them back then. They yes. were very successful, and it was a big, it was a big uh, thing for us to yeah. open for them. Cool. And I remember I was really happy. Nice. So that's uh, 2014. And nice. Six years later, we had another tour together. So it's it's fun how things came full circle. Happen. Yes, <laughs> but when it works with each other, that's and it's cool to do it again. Uh, no. Have yes. you done that with uh, your own band or Nightwish? That you toured with the band and then you tour again? Yeah, yeah, but uh, I have to say, think because at first, my first was yes, of course, but that's the tour that I met on is, which is six years ago, mm-hmm. was in the States, but that was with my Dutch band uh, that isn't there anymore now, Revamp. Yeah. Uh, and exactly a year later, uh, in the same period, it was also like April. May, um, I did a tour again, but that was Nightwish oh, and Sabaton. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Yeah, but um, but after that, no more no more shows together, unfortunately. No, not like that. No more tours anyway. So, and now when we when we play the same festival, we always play in different days because mm. they tend to headline, and so do we. So we we uh, oh, we're both on grass pop, but we're not going to see each other. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But um, I also um, thought for me getting out of uh, immigration from the Netherlands to Finland was a huge, uh, huge step. Mm-hmm. And, and then one year later, exactly one year later, same week, uh, um, I immigrated with Hannes though from Finland to Sweden. Uh, also a very big step, a little bit easier because it was with somebody, like first, first oh. immigration was all by myself. To a country where the language is uh, pretty accessible and difficult, and uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's it's a total out of your comfort zone kind of thing, and uh, I've been asking people uh, to think about what he or she has been doing uh, in the last uh, six years that was out of your comfort zone. So mm-hmm. I'd like to pop the same question. Yes, uh, I have a, a not so fun answer to that question. I think because. I haven't done anything that that extreme, and no, I've been no. thinking a lot about moving to some other country and things like this. That's something I really would love to try, but it hasn't happened. No, well, it's not something you spontaneous to do. Like, you know what? I'm going to immigrate to Finland. <laughs> yeah. yeah let's Hello, Finland. Finland. Can I come? <laughs> yeah, and there, yeah, there's been only thoughts about doing things outside. Of the comfort zone, but then it happened that we are just kept going with the same things like you tour and then you um, write an album and then you record an album and then you tour again and then it goes on and on and on and on uh, all of the way until now then yeah 2020 yeah. and are you doing something now that's more out of the comfort zone? Though? I th- yes I have have been thinking to take a driver's license and that is definitely out of my comfort zone because I tried before and I failed 
twice. Okay. <laughs> yes. But it's um, I am very very scared of cars. Oh yeah, that doesn't help. No. no. And so then I had very bad. Yeah. Well, when I think about myself driving, it's I get these warning flags in my head, you know. So then I thought I better not do it. But then this is something I will do now, and it's I'm scared like hell. <laughs> oh man, no. But, uh, Face your demons. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. Everyone else can do it, and you know, I guess it's something you get used to. Yeah. You, you just like riding a bike or something. Maybe. Even, even though I usually don't fall on my bike and scooters and stuff, but yeah, it's different with cars, but they're a whole lot safer, I would say. True. Yeah, you're not that if you don't it, so to speak. <laughs> no, a little bit more protected, but yeah. it. I'm in fear. I guess very often um, is is not that rational, yeah. but it's very very vivid. So it's still as much there as uh, yeah. Well, it's. It, you need to do something with it, but face the fears and try to see if you can get out of it and enjoy driving and yep. the fun and the freedom of being able to just jump in your car and come here for instance. That's, That's yeah, exactly liberating. What I always think it's so nice to be able to do it. So, but uh, one step at a time, though. Cool. Yeah. Let's hope that it's uh, it's gonna happen and that you uh, yeah, cool. get um, over it. Yeah, I mean, worst case, you can always go to some. Therapist or something. I think that's also something that is like outside of the comfort zone. Things you think you don't need, but I'm thinking, why not? Because no. you know, all kinds. It's, because it's about how your mind thinks. Yeah. So me being so scared of driving and stuff. It's. I, I guess there is some ways that you can l change that state. Yeah, I can imagine so. And in any way, I would say that learning more about yourself and yes. how you function and how you take. In information or just how your mind works. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go to school and you learn everything about the world and everything around yourself, but very little yes. about yourself. That's very true. And maybe at school you're not old enough to actually get that curious or mature enough, but at some point in life, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> so yeah. that's something I'm very curious about and I would like to try that. Cool. See what I can find. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thanks. Thank you. Alright, this was episode number three of Saturday Storytime. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please like it and uh, subscribe if you didn't do that already. Um, I'll be taking you with me on a little trip that I'm going to be doing next week. I'll be going to the Netherlands and, um, well, that's going to be coming up in episode four. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And if you would have any questions that I could maybe answer, um, please drop them somewhere on YouTube or on my Instagram or Facebook. I'll be reading. Cool. Thank you so much. See you next time.